So we had a couple of cancelled fights throughout the week, and yes, I did give my predictions for the full card in the weekend. So I did miss these fights, I did give my predictions for the original matchups, and now we've got this one here. And uh, it's Christian Leroy Duncan taking on Dennis Tulin. And if you guys know me, I do love Dennis Tulin, man. I think that he's a really fun fighter. He's not the best fighter in the world. But if you need someone that's going to take on a guy that nobody wants to fight, and you want someone that's going to take on a fight on short notice, Dennis Tulin is your man, dude. He is going to take on those fights that nobody else wants. But with Dennis, man, I'm just wondering... Is this going to be an extension to his contract? I'm going to give my pick right now. I am picking Christian Leroy Duncan. I do think he should be able to beat my boy Dennis. But with Dennis though, is this um is this a new contract? Has he got a new contract? Because he is 1-3 in the UFC. And typically when guys sign these short notice contracts, they're a four-fight contract. So maybe as part of Dennis signing uh, for this fight against Christian Leroy Duncan... Dennis has signed a new four-fight contract, which would be so good because I'd love to see Dennis get another win in the UFC. I know he can do it. There are guys in the middleweight division that Dennis can beat. I mean, the thing with Dennis is he does have pretty decent wrestling defense and he's really powerful on the feet, but it's just a bit slow. And at middleweights, I know, like, you don't have to be that fast at middleweight because a lot of the guys don't really have crazy speed. Teolun's still slower than most of those guys. He's got crazy power, crazy aggressiveness, but I just don't think he can pull it off against CLD. He got signed by taking on Elias Kizriev when seemingly nobody wanted to. Kizriev had like six cancelled UFC fights. I mean, he is a bit of a pull-out merchant now, to be fair, but my goodness. I mean, no one wanted to fight Kizriev, and Teolun did, and then he beat Jamie Pickett, and he lost to Junyon Park, who's a top 15 guy, borderline top 15 guy. And then he lost to Gregory Rodriguez, borderline top 15 guy. But the situation in that one there is um, they could have been a DQ. You know, it really could have been a DQ win for Tulin. I mean, I it was to the back of the head. I mean, at the time, a lot of people were trying to argue. Now that the emotions are gone, it's a few months later. If you do review that, that was pretty bad. It, it, was, it should have been a DQ. Dennis definitely could have gone and tried to overturn it. But he didn't. And now he's taking on CLD. Now, CLD is very interesting because I thought that he was a lot better than he is, if that makes sense. Because he come in against Armour Petrosian, and he just looked a little bit silly. He got outstruck by a more technical striker, but the thing with CLD is he moves so well for 185. Like, he moves, he spins, he does jumping knees, like, he is really, really good movement at 185 pounds, and if he can put it together and just throw more normal strikes and not spinning strikes... He would have a lot more success. But I am going to go with Christian Leroy Duncan. I do believe that his movement is going to be too much for Dennis. He's going to be a lot faster than Dennis. The thing about CLD, though, is he does waste a lot of energy throwing spinning kicks and spinning punches and jumping knees and just stuff that doesn't always work, stuff that doesn't always land. And Dennis is going to be a lot more basic. He's going to be powerful. Could I see Dennis knocking him out? Yeah, I mean, I would actually like it to happen because I, I do like Dennis. I really do. But I don't think he can win this fight. I do think that there's winnable fights in the UFC at 185 for Dennis. But I don't think CLD is one of them. I, I mean, if you put Dennis Tulin up against um, the guy that Bonacal fought, Valentine Woodburn, Dennis Tulin would beat that guy. So, I don't know. But I do think that um, CLD beats Dennis uh, probably by decision. Hopefully, after this... Dennis is still in the UFC, and we can see him take on Valentine Woodburn. That would be a good fight. I mean, a fight we're looking forward to, because I like Dennis. But anyway, I'm picking Duncan. Duncan by KO. I mean, Dennis is a tough guy. Yes, he got KO'd by Gregory Rodriguez, but they were two al elbows. Elbows to the back of the head. So, I don't know. I'm going to go with CLD by decision. But I think Dennis is going to have a good first round. So, that's my pick there. CLD by decision. I know that CLD can get mad KOs, but at the end of the day, Dennis is a tough guy. He got KO'd by back of the head shots from Gregory Rodriguez. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's it. That's the prediction. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.